previous videos, we've focused on using our search terms as well as our filters to narrow and increase the number of results that we're getting. Now we're actually going to have a look through the results that we've got and figure out if they're relevant to our assignment and also decide um, how we can access them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick scroll through my results. The things that I'm going to be looking at on this page are the title and this little bit of information of, that we get here. So based on those, I can generally tell a little bit whether I think this article is going to be relevant for me. So I said at the beginning that my topic was on um, children's physical activity and how that impacts their well-being. So I'm just going to have a scroll through until I can find one that I think might be relevant to that. So um, I think this one looks like it could be quite good. So to get more information about it, I'm going to click on the title. So I've clicked on the title of the article and it's going to take me to this page here. And on this page, I'm going to get a lot of different information about the article. So if I scroll down, I've got the title, which I already knew. I'm going to keep scrolling. It tells me the publication date. So this article was published in 2024, which is great. That means it's brand new. So it'll be up to date with all of the current research. So that's great. Um, I'm going to scroll down though all the way until I get to this bit here called the abstract. So what the abstract is, is the abstract is a summary of a journal article. But unlike a summary for a novel or something like that, where it's trying to get you hooked and give you just enough information so you're interested in reading it, the purpose of an abstract for a journal article is to give you all of the information that's in the journal article. So there shouldn't be any surprises um, after reading the abstract about what's in the article. So if you read this and you're like, mm, no, I don't think this sounds like it's quite right, you're probably correct and you don't need to go on to read the journal article. However, if you do think that this sounds useful, then that's when you'd go and you'd say, yeah, I think I do actually want to read this article. So having a look at this one, I think that maybe it does sound like it could be good. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top here where it says access options. And I'm going to expand this out and click this button here where it says full text finder. So I'm going to click on that and Multisearch is going to go off and see if it can find where this journal article lives, you know, in kind of the online sense. <laughs> so it's taken me to here and it says we have two different options for where you can read this journal article. You can click either of those, doesn't matter which. Um, I'll click Taylor and Francis just because. So um, it's trying to decide if I'm human or not. I'll click this to let it know I am. But um, this is an example, especially before we're in two different databases, that lots of our articles come from different places. So depending on which one you click or depending on which journal article you're at, everything's going to look slightly different. But generally speaking, you'll end up on a page that looks something like this, where you'll have the title of the article, you'll have the abstract, and oftentimes if you scroll down, you'll be able to read the full text of the article right here. Um, You'll also almost always have a button somewhere where you can view the PDF of the article. So I'm going to look for that because it's useful to have the PDF for a couple of reasons. First of all, if I click view PDF, that's where it was on this one, I can download the article, which can be really useful if I want to read it later um, or have it access to it at some point when I don't have internet. So um, I can see that there's the download button there and that gives me access to the PDF. The other reason why having the PDF is really useful instead of just reading it online is if I look at the PDF, um, I can see page numbers here at the top. And sometimes you're going to need a page number if you're direct quoting when you're doing APA referencing. So having the PDF so I can see that page number can be useful there as well. But this is how I read um, my journal article. Um, another thing that's nice is when an article like this is quite new and I find it's from 2024, is sometimes it's good I can scroll down to their reference list at the end and I can have a look at what articles they've cited because they've already had to do um, some work finding journal articles. So I can look at these ones as well and if I wanted to know if I, we had access at any of um, at UC Library to any of these articles, I can always copy the name of an article and type that into Multisearch as well and Multisearch will tell me right away if we have access to this particular journal article. So. That's how I'd access a journal article when I've already clicked on it um, here. 
But if I'm just in the search results and I don't necessarily want to have to click on a journal article, I just want to access it right away. Um, you'll see here that this access options button is underneath all of them. So I can just click on that. And again, it's going to take me to that full text finder. And this one only has one option. So I can click on that again. And that will just take me directly to um, this article as well, which is also from um, Taylor and Francis. So it does look the same. Other things that can be quite helpful. So if I click on this one again, there's a few other bits of information that I might like to look at in this page. Um, first of all, if I think this is a really good article and I want to find more articles that are similar, um, I can do two things. I can one, I can look at these subject terms. And these are some of the words that MultiSearch is using to help match my article to my search terms. So I could try using some of these if I think any of these are particularly relevant. But MultiSearch also has a more like this button where it does its best guess at what other journal articles are similar to this one based on those subject terms, the title and the abstract, and all of those things. So I could have a look through and decide if any of these ones seemed like articles I might want to read. So I'm just going to go back to the results where I could again look at titles, look at the little summary here, and then click on the title to get more information and use this access options button to take me directly to the article.